A Cheatham County mother and daughter are behind bars this evening, both charged with attempted first degree murder. The alleged victim, the woman's husband and biological father. Andy Cordan has been unraveling this mystery and joins us now with a story you're seeing first on two. Andy. Hey there, Mark. You know, when deputies arrive, they find three people all bleeding and all telling different stories. But in the end, after interviewing all parties and analyzing the evidence, the victim's wife and daughter are now behind bars. What's going on, man? You all right? This is the moment Saturday morning. Got blood all over, yeah. That Cheatham County deputies arrived to find a 59-year-old man slumped on a neighbor's porch. Tell you, man, 59-year-old white male bleeding profusely from the head. The man is bleeding from multiple wounds. We argued for several hours. The shivering man will soon tell deputies that he and his wife had an argument the night before after he reportedly demanded a divorce. I announced to my wife last night, I want, I want a divorce. The man will tell deputies... After he went to sleep, his wife and daughter allegedly beat him in the head with an iron skillet and cut him with a knife. Where, and where's the knife? I, I wrestled it away. You wrestled away? She hit you with a frying pan and a knife in the head? Yeah, yeah. and I put a belt around my neck and pulled me down when my daughter was on top of me. When deputies cross the road, <laughs> they find the man's daughter, 29-year-old Kelly Davis, in the middle of the floor with what deputies later describe as superficial lacerations. 28 Central, tell EMS, I got two more victims in here. Lots of blood, stand by, I'll try to get test the wounds. The man's wife, 62-year-old Pam Davis, she's leaning against the wall with what the deputy describes as cuts to her arms and head. Is there a knife anywhere? It, it, it was down the hall. Okay, as long as I'm not gonna get stabbed while I'm trying to help you guys, okay. All right. Now, once again, though the stories are quite different, Cheatham County investigators tell me that they have analyzed the evidence and spoken to all parties. And after conducting a lengthy investigation, the wife and daughter have been charged in this incident. Let's send it back to you, Mark. All right, Eddie, thank you. According to Cheatham County officials, none of the family members has a prior arrest history in Cheatham County, nor are there any calls for incidents or disturbances at that family's address.